am I tripping? Is it a little blurry? Do I got something I could? Let me see. Mm, okay, I, I wasn't tripping. Oof. I've been gone. My guy, <laughs> nice, and it's crazy, bro. You on this YouTube space doing your diddy bop, and I'm trying to make a living, man. I'm trying to do something, I'm trying to be as great as you. Everybody can't be as great as Nazir. Damn, bro. No, I've been going for a good little minute, child, but all these buttons on YouTube have me so loud. What up, Nas, bro? How you doing, bro? I ain't heard from you in a minute, bro. I see you go back on doing YouTube and doing your thing, though. It's today, Tuesday, 8 o'clock. It is Tuesday, 8 o'clock. I have to make sure my time was right. Good, okay, I appreciate you still at Jackson. I am D. I love D. I love I am bro what you what you been up to bro but hey everybody that's joined that ain't commenting like I said no I've been going I didn't go live Saturday I went live that Tuesday do you see Miss T Burn I'm talking about that now hey Miss Quisha how you doing um I didn't go live. I went live Tuesday. I didn't go live Saturday. No, I didn't go live Saturday. So yeah, it was it was on. Then I, mean, I didn't go live. Okay, I didn't go live the Saturday before last, which was the day we started spring break. We started spring break that Friday, so I didn't go live that Saturday. I went live that Tuesday, but then this past Saturday, I didn't go live again. So that's twice I didn't go live. So I know it's, yeah, I forgot about me. I already, I went two days without going. And it wasn't back to back, but I went two days without going live. And everybody forgot I already. But how y'all doing, Miss Quisha, Miss Bonnie? How's everybody doing? We got a couple things, a couple things to hop into today. Um, yeah, we really do. I'm the Steelers. How about them Steelers? How about them Steelers? Somebody tell me how about them Steelers. And how they feel about the Steelers. You know, I would sit up here and give a soliloquy and a dialogue about how I feel about the Pittsburgh Steelers. But I don't, I don't think you all are ready for that. I'm 
was trying. I'm trying to um, get this out on Twitter. Hey, I'm going live. I'm currently live. We got 12 people on, nine likes, and we have um, three people who comment. I'm going to wait because, like I said, I know by me being – oh, oh, here we go. How you doing, Mr. Brandon? Still a fan since 76. Well, I have been a Steelers fan since 76, but I've been a Steelers fan since – when would I say I became a Steelers fan? Hmm. Let's see. When did the Steelers last one Super Bowl? Jay, how you doing? I've been seeing you, Jay. You be on other live support which is what's up we love the support we need support for every um what i dare say content creator that's jackson state jackson state alum jackson state covering whoever it is as long as this jackson state we need support we need to support them steelers super bowl Two thousand nine. Haven't been to a Steelers fan since two thousand nine. Probably not, because I probably didn't even know who the Steelers was. I'm Chief Moderating Officer S T Wilcox. <laughs> well, look, now why you one of my moderators, and I appreciate you. You do a pretty handy, jo- a pretty handy job. If I do say so myself. What up, Prince? My little brother, Prince. How you doing, Prince? Well, I'm trying to wait, y'all. How I lost about three. Oh, man. Oh, that hurt so bad. Howard lost by three points. That sucks. Dang. They lost by three points. 71-68. They were doing so good this year. I could, you know. Yeah, they lost in the play in. They played Wagner. We had nine minutes. That does hurt. I turned it off when they went up by 10 late as they couldn't leave. Mm. I was watching it first half. Whew. Let me get that yard out. But the first half, they was down like, they was on a lot. They was down like 27 to 19. Not 19, it was like 27, 14. I was like, uh-oh. I was like, uh-oh. But then they came back and it was 34 to 27. 
and then it went. <laughs> it was 34 27. Then it went on um, live. I mean, on commercial break, and then I had to tune it off. Ben, I'm going to deal with you after this. I'm going to do with you after this part now. But yeah, that was bad. Man, it was a good game. When I was watching it, I think it was the big boy Odom. They were talking about him because he had just came back off an injury. And the guard. Oh, I can't think of his name. But he was balling. I think he had like 14 points when I was watching. In the first half. He was killing. I'm talking about getting to the rack. One, two. <sighs> Get to the rack. <sighs> Excuse me. Respect the hustle, keep grinding. <laughs> this is my roommate, child. <laughs> you tell my respect the hustle, keep grinding. I talked to me, but anyway, diving to it. Shout out to them, not the Lady Tigers, the Tigers, the men, they made it, but they didn't make it. They lost to Texas Southern. Wasn't a bad loss in, I think, second half. We rallied back. We gave them a game towards the end. I, I can most definitely say that. We gave them a pretty good game towards the end. We just missed a lot of shots, man. We missed a lot. Hey, Till Quay, how you doing? We missed a lot of shots. I mean, we can throw a rock in the ocean, and that's everybody, you know. Coach Young, for the most part, he was playing pretty good. He was, you know, I'm not mistaken, he led the team in scoring that day. Um, but we missed a lot of shots. We missed a lot of shots. And if we would have made half of them shots, we would have won a ball game, you know. So we'll be back next year. We have a lot of players out. With the transfer portal, I mean, I seen a couple people. Like Ken Evans, swag player of the year, eighteen the game, nineteen the game. Um, Zeke Cook into the transfer portal. Um, and a lot of other people, man. So it's real interesting to see what Coach Mo, we're gonna, Mo Williams, and staff are gonna do with recruiting. Because I mean, Ken Evans. I mean, you know, some would say he's the best player on the team. I mean, he won swag or well, co co swag player of the year. So it's like, you know, it's a real toss-up. I will give them that. It is a real toss-up, and we know nothing. Hey, T. Timon, how you doing? But, yeah, it was a real toss-up. And, yeah, obviously, you know, let them tell you we know nothing. So... That's just that, man. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what Coach Moore's going to do because now you have the defensive player of the year is where he didn't get the transfer portal. But you have the defensive player of the year on the team if he decides to stay. The, off, the swag player of the year left. So now, like I said, you're bringing a new squad. You have Romeo Matsuel, Matsu, coming back off an of injury. Deshaun Ruffin coming back off an of injury. Um, you have Zeke Cook. Oh, no, not Zeke Cook. I just said Zeke in the transfer portal. So you have other guys. You know, you have freshmen that now when, you, when, you're, a, a fr when you're a freshman, right, and you're behind someone, you're not playing as much because someone's in front of you. But when you're a freshman and said somebody leaves, you know, whether they transfer or they go to another school via transfer portal or they just leave or they graduate and they just run out of time, that freshman year – Okay, so let's say our team just lost last week. That freshman year is no longer like the rest of that freshman semester is no longer a freshman year. That is your sophomore. That is the beginning of your sophomore year because now a lot more, a lot more is expected from you. You know, so that's the um, that's the kick about that. But for the most part, everything's pretty cool and calm. You just have to be ready to play ball. One second, child.
Oh, my bad, I'm back. That wasn't even too long. But yes. So that's that. But let's go on to the girls. Shout out to the girls, swag champs, swag. So we're the swag champs, and now we're the swag tournament champion champs. Five time swag champs. Almost up there with Mike. I seen Keishana. Was it Keishana? She posted a picture on Instagram and she just had a ring for every finger. I don't think another one next year. They get another one next year too. I get two next year. So she's gonna be posting pictures like this. You know, March Madness go where we want March Madness go. And the winningest women's basketball team in the swag. Yes, with the winningest. I mean, if I, I looked it up last live and to Coach Reed was like 79 and six or 74 and six in swag conference play in her four or five, her five years of being here. So that's that. So shout out to those girls. I wish that I was a woman basketball player because I have two rings. You know, two is greater than zero. A lot of people have zero. But seven. Seven is a lot. You almost up there with Bill Russell, because at that point you pass Mike and you were Bill. You pass Mike and you were Bill at that point. And when you get the game with Bill, that's some legendary top. But like I said, the women's basketball team has made it to March Madness. And we are up against UConn. Let's talk about it. Here are my keys to success and what I think us Tigers have to do to get the win. So, start off with a couple stats. We have the Yukon Lady, the Yukon Lady Huskies. We have their um, team leader in points per game, Paige Buckers, 21.3, leader in rebounds. Um, what's her name? A. Edwards. So Aaliyah Edwards. She's sitting at 9.3 rebounds per game. We have Nakaya, Nakia, Moore, 6.4 assists per game. Paige Beckers with one, one and a half block a game. And KK Arnold finishing off freshman with 2.3. 2.3 steals per game. That's actually impressive. And then you have Aaliyah Edwards with 17 points. As a FUD, a FUD with 11 points per game. A Shea with 11 points per game. A Griffin, that's a lot of A's. A Griffin with nine and a half points per game. KK Arnold with nine. Mule with seven. And so on and so forth. And then we have our Lady Tigers. Our leading score is Tillian. Our leading score is Miss Event. I wonder why it's not updated here. But it's Miss Event with 12.3 points per game, 3.1 rebounds. Um, we have Miss Tilly with 11.7 points per game, 3.9 rebounds. We have Mike Crump, 11.6 points per game with six and a half rebounds. We have Angel Jackson with 10 points per game, 9.9 .9 points per game, 10 points per game with seven rebounds, 6.9 6 rebounds. Then we have Kishana Luckett, 6.8 points, two rebounds to assist, and so on and so forth. Everybody else kind of fills out. So that comes to a season average of 71 points per game, 43 rebounds per game, 12.2 assists per game, eight steals, uh, five blocks is crazy. Gentry, when are you coming home? Princeton, that is a great question. I cannot answer that for you. So that's what I lay the Tigers. And then we go back to the Huskies. That gives them a total of 80. 80 points per game. So that's a nine-point difference, which isn't hard to make up. 38.8 rebounds per game, 19.7 assists, and 10.1 steals. So reading this, we don't have we are nine points short. 
We average more rebounds. And we're kind of right there with assists. We're a few off. And everything else, like I said, it kind of just fills out. So here are my keys to win the game. Also, my bad, reading this, as is hurt. So Miss Foot is hurt. So let's go back. As he has doo -doo 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 -doo. 11 points per game. So now you take away those 11 points per game. You talk about her 11 points per game. <laughs> you talk about her 11 points per game. And I'm not a mathematician, but so they're at 80 points per game. 80 minus 11 is 69. So you take with her her um 11 points. Now we up 79 61. I mean 71 69 points. We at 71 points per game. They're at 69 points per game. You mean to tell me we can't win that ball game? You mean to tell me we can't win that ball game? And then you know you never know any other injuries might occur over these next couple of days of practice. We hope nothing happens though, but it's all possible. So here are my keys to winning. Pick one and you let them do them. What I mean by that, you have Aaliyah Edwards and Paige Buckers, two best players on the team. You have a guard in the big, which is guard in the forward, guard in the big, which is, you know, pretty ideal. I say you take away Paige. When I say, when I say take away Paige, we need my girl, Miss Hickman, 23. She plays great defense. I, she needs her on her all game. Wherever Miss Page goes, Miss Buckers goes, we need 23 on her. I mean, everywhere she goes. She go to the bitch to get some water. I need 23 right there behind her. She go to inbound the ball. 23 need to be on the ball. She go to get the ball. We need to deny her the ball. And I feel as if Miss Jackson, because let's think about it. A little Edward, she's at UConn. Um, she's a senior, 6'3". Now, you know, I'm 6'. You ask me on the good day, I'm 6'5". Give or take, I'm 6'5". So you go 6'4". 6'4". I stood next to Angel. Angel looked down at me. They say Angel 6'6". Six, six. Angel might. She might be a 6'7". I'm not saying that the height matters, but it gives an advantage when you're 6'7". Your arms are long. You just had six blocks in the last game you played. If you just stay true to all six, 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 seven, and you stay true to it, you know, no swiping, no filing, hands up, you jump, make sure your hands go straight up. No, excuse me, no unnecessary contact, just straight clean ball on Miss Edwards. I like our chances. And if we play Miss Buckers, like I said, Miss Buck Buckers, she needs no room. She come off a screen, we need to blitz the screen. She come off the screen, left or right. Whomever she's calling, because it's going to be most likely like a pick a row deal, pick in row deal. She come off the screen. Um, you don't you don't do zone, no zone. She come off the screen, Angel. You got to contest, but you got to get back because then she make that pass, you know. And not to say that our girls can't guard her, but it ain't too many six three plus females walking around, and that's just the truth of the nature. So we need it. I'm telling you, I and mean, Coach Reed is a for future Hall of Fame coach. So I know if I'm saying this, I could just imagine what she got going on in her mind and how she's going to defend all of these girls. And then offensively, Paige got to go on somebody. Now, if they sit in the zone, we need shots, man. We need a, we need another Haley Breeland performance. I mean, last game she went off for, am I mistaken, 17 off the bench. She averaged three on the season. Come off the bench, drop 17. And I mean, I'm watching the game and she was shooting. She catching it off the hand off the DHO dribble handoff. <laughs> Nothing to it. She didn't think about the shot. That's the thing I liked about it. She didn't think about the shot. She didn't pump fake, no hesitation. She got off the DHO and she letting it fly. And that's what you need. And she was making shots. I think she went three for three or three for four, three for five, which is which isn't bad at all. And then she played great defense. She had some steals, and then she got some transition buckets, and then some half court sitting buckets. So, my keys to beating them. Angel has to play man to man, and Angel can't sub out because she subs out. Well, whoever subs in for Miss Angel, they have to hold on the fort. 
And Bucker, she needs to be somebody to be with her everywhere she goes. I don't like I said, if it's the ladies' restroom, I bet she have to start holding the tissue. We need somebody everywhere for her for those simple reasons. Because when she gets off, I'm gonna see when she gets off and she wanna make a shot, she's gonna do that. If you give her space and opportunity to do that. Now, if you prevent that, throw her off a little bit, make her get a little frustrated, we're gonna be up there in UConn. So we, you know, might be playing the riffs. You know, we don't wanna say that, but up there in UConn, she get a little frustrated, she getting some foul trouble, she gets some texts. Before you know it, you know, as much as I like it, which you gotta have somebody to get you the ball. So yeah, we just need an all hands of deck performance. We need to have one of those games where it's like the the rim is the ocean and we just throwing rocks. We need to score consistently. We need to play great defense. And I feel as if we have the great players for that at all positions. Even you look at Miss Adriana event. I did not know that she was player of the year at Texas Southern. She was player of the year. Our player of the year was Miss Ma'am from FAMU, Miss Grizzle. Shout out to her. She was player of the year at Texas Southern, Miss Avant Event. She's coming off our bench. And she won MVP last game. She was player of the year at Texas Southern. Let that marinate. I might get sleepy again. Let's let me see though. That's all I got today. She going up our bench and she letting it fly too. She catching it and she don't think twice about shooting it. And that's just a luxury we have. Now, also you look at UConn, bigger school, power five school, more scholarships, more this, this, that, and third. They may indeed have some killers off the bench, but our killers are our killers. And I like our killers over anybody. So that's why I say I feel as if this is the perfect perfect matchup. Now, I was on live with off script. Well, I wasn't on live, but I was in the chat yesterday. And he spoke on the fact that he felt like this is a better matchup other than LSU. And I kind of disagreed, but he had some very good points. Well, I thought LSU was the better matchup for us other than UConn. And he actually said, I don't know. I thought it was the other way around. I thought UConn was the, was the better matchup for us, and he thought it would have been LSU as far as us having a better chance at winning. And when he broke down why, I'm like, you know what? Those are great points, and I would be a fool, so I agree with you. So he has some great points. I mean, at the end of the day, Buckers is one of those players. She's going to get hers, whether it's negatively, you know, whether she goes out there, she shoots three for 20, shooting with 20 points. You know what I'm saying? It's terrible. So if she does it really efficient and done, and we're good. And the best thing about March Madness, you only need one game. You don't need two. You don't need three. You don't need four. You don't need five. You need to win one game a night. Whenever night you play, one game. We go up. We beat Seton Hall. We beat Southeastern Louisiana. Seton Hall is a good test. Southeastern, you know, hey, teach them. But um, it's a great test. And if we can hang in with that game, the way we did, we can win that game. We can win that game easily. And I feel like we should. And like I said, if I'm saying all that I said about Miss um about Miss Buckers and Fudd and Walker, I feel like there's no way for us to not win. Because we're just that, I don't want to say superior. I just feel like we have, I feel like this is our chance because at the end of the day, why not us? Why not? Why not a little HBC from Jackson State? Why Jackson State? You know, obviously because you want us like tournament and everything. But why not? Why not a little, a little young lady, you know, not from Jackson? But we are. The winning is one back to our team this spread. Also, we have those Steelers signing Russell Wilson to a $1.27 million contract, which the Denver Broncos will pay $38 million of his guaranteed contract that he had with the Broncos. Layla Walker is 6'5". That's another one. So, I mean, we got bodies to throw at Ms. Walker. I wonder if the Walkers are cousins. Well, we have bodies to throw at Ms. Walker, but we just need our bodies to stay in with no foul trouble. 
JSU baseball win by Mercy Rule against Pine Bluff. 13 th- There's a Mercy Rule in baseball. And nobody told me about this. There's a mercy rule in baseball. I know in basketball you have the mercy rule, but that's when you're up by like 25 plus. And um they just run the clock, you know, no timeouts. Well, timeouts you get the clock stop, but no dead balls, no free throws, the clock is running. But there's a mercy rule in baseball. Didn't know. Shout out to them. And the number one hitter in the country who also resigned to who? What school does he go to again? Oh, my bad. Jackson State. Yes. So, but anyway, Layla Walker is truly a talented player, and she can defend. So we, whenever she's shuffling, because it's going to be inevitable when she, whenever she um subs in, and she just has to contribute. She has to do her job, which would be to defend, 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 and defend. Yeah, that's how I feel about that. And I feel like we have a great chance here winning, man. Um, want to come and update you all with my camera. I didn't go live Saturday because I was expecting my camera to be here then. But it hasn't made it yet. So what we're going to do this time, for those of you who are in the chat and who might watch it later, please go comment right now on an old video, which you would like to see in a Jenshit Riley video. Um, the camera's purchased, waiting for it to come in the mail. I'm really excited about it. I hope you all are really excited because it's really interesting. It's real interesting. So, like I said, I'm, I'm just ready for that. Um, also, I brought the Steelers, but not really. The Pittsburgh Steelers, Russell Wilson, Justin Fields, potentially. Brandon, are you look at You give Russell Wilson some weapons and say, let's cook. Steelers country, let ride. <laughs> we ride with you. We riding with you, Russ, and I'm going to ask two questions about it. Let's get some pass catches. You know, we missed out on Mike Williams today. Mike Williams signed with the um, with the um, New York Jets. Whoa. So, I'm just – I'm really excited, y'all. Oh, I'm really excited. So, with the camera, like I said, you all, please just give suggestions which you would like to see from the life of Riley, whatever it may be. Um, a lot of people said day in life – Interviews with players, uh, Coach TC potentially, or just people around the work around the work area. You know, we have a lot of people who come in and out, especially around this time of day because Pro Day is coming up. Monday, DJ Stevens, Deontay Graham, Isaac Peppers, maybe I, you know, I'm not sure, but I just know DJ and will be there. Hopefully, everyone comes back and they're um, strong for Pro Day and they have, you know, they're ready because this has been January. Last football game was played in December. We was played in November. Let's let's show these scouts what we've been doing. I am going to make a video when you open it. You want to make a video on my camera prints? I'm going to charge you a hefty fee of a lot of money that I know you don't have. So, yeah. So, you can use this time as you ought to give me that. Um, suggestions. Uh, you can DM me, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you know, whatever you can find me on, please DM me and let me know about those um, those video ideas because I'm excited. Um, whenever it makes it, on, it was on back order, so I'm assuming that that played a part in it, but still, um, I need my camera. So FedEx, is that order on Amazon? FedEx, Amazon, let's get it. Yes, I am on TikTok, at Jen Shirali Jr. Yeah, I'm going to get you. At Jen Shirali Jr. is my TikTok. All my TikToks, all my socials are the same. Jen Shirali Jr. So, yeah. Um, what was I about to say? Talk about those studs with Mr. IU. Let's get Mr. IU on board and Justin Fields and Russ just to add that. Be right there. And Spring Ball. Spring Ball. I know if you haven't seen it good, if you have seen it not so good. But um, me and another player got a little physical altercation. Wasn't nothing serious. 
nothing serious at all. We were just playing football, you know. You lose some, you win some. And I happen to win a lot more than I lose. So I wanted to block. And, you know, he has some things to be said. And if you can't really tell what happened on the uh, video, so we're not going to dive into that. But, yeah, man, spring football. Today was our first day of full practice. Yesterday was our first day of full practice. And, um, you know, still had the spring break in you. You know, he had guys spring and break legs out the way, but for the most part, it was a pretty good day, really detailed day. Um, we moved around fast, flew around fast with the ball, without the ball. So, yeah, I'm broke. What you mean, you broke Princeton? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You know what you're talking about. But yeah. So I'm actually gonna end this a little early. I have a um I have a Zoom meeting to get on real quickly. So I just wanted to brief you all with this quick live. I know we'll be back on regularly scheduled programming, let's say next week, because Saturday. I may not go live. See, Jesse, Dan, like, CJ, was you here? We're going to do 72 hours. But that's going to be like a weekly thing. We're going to try to keep that a weekly thing. So we're going to give you guys three days of my life. No, I didn't do one already, but we just talked about it. Hey, Professor. I'm going to email you. I didn't email you last week because we had midterms and things. Then spring break came about. And I don't know if you was in spring break, but I didn't want to bother you during then. So I'm going to email you soon, Professor. Please stay on the um, on the lookout. You know, um, did I, how did I do in my midterm? I did good for the most part. I didn't get um, grades yet on all of them. But for the ones I did get grades on, you know, I'm on the dean's list every semester for nothing. You know, Mr. Cry, I'm on the dean's list because, you know, I appreciate you for understanding the professor. I have no money. I can't buy nothing. You don't have to make the video. Princeton, what are you talking about? You losing me. Where, where money coming in there? You don't want to even... I don't want no money from you. I'm making money for us. Jency, what's that you touching with K5? No, K5 my cousin. I never touched with my cousin. That was um Mr. Robert McDaniel. It wasn't K5. K5 my cousin. Can't touch with my cousin. But yeah. But no, Jay, I didn't do one already, but we just discussed that. But like I said, we're gonna, whenever I get the camera and stuff, um, I plan on doing, like I said, 72 hours. So we're gonna do three days, probably post on a Sunday. Post on a Sunday. Might. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. I was going to say it might move the live date, but, you know, we still have our other respective creators, and I don't want to step on nobody's toes. But um, what was I saying? So do the 72 hours, post on a Sunday. So if we do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, edit, get everything I want all dialed up nice and pretty, post it on Sunday, and then – Monday to them, and then we go Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Boom, boom. My post that. Mm. See, now they'll throw off the post schedule. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I'll come about because I'm a, um, I've been, I told y'all last time, I've been cooking. It's a big pot of gumbo. So you, know, you gotta make the rope, the root. You know, you gotta. So I've been cooking, man, behind the scenes of this, because as you all know, it's only me doing this right now, you know? So we getting there. We getting there. But, yeah, 72 hours. That's that's one thing, Dota J. 72 hours. Not a day in life. 72 hours with Gen C. So that's what I do for three days. How my three days go? School, football, and just my regular social life. Um. And I was like, whatever else you guys had in mind. But the, the day in life is going to be a, a routine, a weekly thing. Post it. Post it weekly. So I'm trying to see what else. Hey, Jensen, so proud of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. 
I really do. Also, I know everybody isn't able right now, but if you would like to support the channel, donate, um, you can get a membership, not expensive. And like I said, look, the platinum one, you ain't got to look at the platinum. But if you just want to bless, you know, God bless. But it's not important. But if you would like to support, please, I appreciate all support. It's real, you know, inspiring, motivating. What is tussling? Something you better not be doing, Princeton. That's what tussling is. Something you, I, you, you better not be tussling. That's all you need to know. So, yeah. Uh, that oh, I was trying to show you all last live. This is what I was trying to show y'all. Is it this? Okay, so <laughs> you know I'm alive. How you know I'm alive? Um, I was trying to show the stickers, and I was like, look at this. Wait a minute, if I Yeah, just a little football lingo. And Prince, you play football, so you should know. Can I do this? Oh, no, I did it again. Dang, I did it again. I know you're lying, dude. You can't cook. Prince, how you know I can't cook? I used to make your oatmeal when you was a baby, Prince. So how you going to tell me I can't cook? And you used to eat the oatmeal. You used to eat it every, you used to eat it every time. So what are you talking about? A little scuffle, nothing serious. See, yeah, nothing serious. Nothing serious at all, Princeton. Prince gonna tell me I can't cook. Like I didn't make his oatmeal. Wait, is Prince your actual brother? Yes. <laughs> Princeton is my actual brother. <laughs> it's my little brother, Princeton. Princeton, Princeton, Princeton. Yes. That's why I said Jay. I used to cook Princeton oatmeal when Prince was crawling. I remember when Prince first started crawling around and he started walking and then talking and now he's how old you is Prince? How old are you, Prince? Just turned nine? Or you just turned eight? He one of them. Now he eight, nine years old. And he talking about I can't cook. Like, I didn't used to feed you. Oatmeal all the time. Yeah, Prince, how he nine or eight. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. <laughs> Prince, what are you talking about? This is became the Prince magician. What are you talking about? Prince, how old are you? Nine or eight. Twelve, thirteen, no, indeed. Princeton is a baby. Hey, T D D, how you doing? Princeton, now you want to go quiet. How old are you? Matter of fact, since you don't want to see it, let me find out right quick. I don't know. There you go. Thank you, Uncle Roger. Princeton nine. I knew it was nine or eight. I just the eight and the nine. He because he just turned nine not too long ago, like a couple months ago. So that's how I knew he was eight. He just turned nine. So yeah, Princeton is nine years old. So Uncle Roger, tell me I don't remember that. How you don't remember that? See, Prince, wait till I get you. I'm gonna get you, Prince. My little nephew about to turn eight. Dang, for real. I don't know why he's talking to us, Uncle Roger. But that's all Prince will be doing. Been watching me too much, Prince. One of these days, I'm going to get... um. I'm going to get you to come on. I'm going to get Prince to come on up here. You want to say nah, nah. You too late now, Prince. 
It's too <laughs> you late, bro. I miss my dog too, man. I miss my dog. I gotta whenever I come back, I'm gonna see him. January, February, March, April, May. Whenever I get the chance to come back, I'm gonna see him. No, don't be spamming nine nine in the comments, Prince. I knew we, we knew you was nine. What? Two, four, six. Oh, okay, now, Prince. I'm gonna have my moderators put you in timeout. Keep saying nine. My nephew be the same way. He always wonder when I'm coming to see him. Child, Princeton is Princeton. I don't. I don't think nobody have a Princeton. Only I have a priest. Oh Lord. Yeah. I got a Zoom call and a couple. And he wanna text me and say nah. Prince, I know what you is already now. Um, but please like, comment, subscribe. If you can get a membership, it's real, you know, inspiring. And it lets me know that you all like what I'm doing and that I can continue doing so. Um, road to 1,000. I mean, there's a lot going on, man. I just, I'm just really thankful right now. I appreciate it all. You guys have been doing the thing because we've been really consistent with this now. Ever since I started being more consistent with going live, I'm talking about you feed me. I didn't say I fed you. I said I made you some oatmeal. I ain't never put a spoon in your mouth and say chugga chugga chew. I ain't never do that now, Prince. You you was too old for that. But making you some oatmeal, some cereal, come on now. Probably wasn't good, the oatmeal, because I don't know how I mean the oatmeal. I know how, but I'm more of a cereal guy. I got a five-year-old going on 40. <laughs> Prince nine going on 21. I've been typing it. What you been typing, nine? I don't remember that. That's the only thing you said. What you mean? Sickening, boy. Sickening. <laughs> Prince nine, he think he older than what he is. Jen, he need a football camp. We got one coming soon. Real soon. Princeton, how you delete messages on YouTube? Princeton. Okay, I got something for you. I'm gonna call you when I get off this live. Me and you gotta have us a conversation. Could probably be studying. <laughs> Have a good night and a great week. Thank you so much, Professor. You too. I will be emailing you soon. Shout out to Coach O. Coach O was my first guest on the Life Riley podcast. That was actually a school assignment. And I got a 95 on that assignment, y'all. The only reason I didn't get a hundred because the interview wasn't 15 minutes long. It was like 13 minutes. But Coach O, uh you um like when we going to char, you didn't got the, some titles added to your name, man. I want the I want the biggest the cowboy rear by steak with the loaded potato. Or we could just go put him on the grill, you know. You wear out studying. Come on, now. I'm a Dean's list scholar. You don't make the Dean's list without studying. I know I look good, but I gotta study a little bit too, Coach O. It's, it's, it's part it's part of what I do. And you would you would um come on here when I'm about to get ready to get off. You wanna be home in the April, Tay comes home on the twenty eighth. 
yeah, that's when we get out of school. Very, very March, April, May. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yes, TDD. I'll be there. Look at Jay, man. Jay, my guy, bro. But yeah, y'all, tonight wasn't really nothing to talk about. We talked about most of it at the beginning. Like I said, I had a Zoom call to get on real, real soon. Matter of fact, transfer portal news. Okay, this is it. I'm bringing this up before we get off. Let me go. Caden Proctor, offensive tackle at Iowa, was offensive tackle at Alabama, transferred to Iowa, which is his hometown. So he was at Alabama. He's from Iowa. He transferred to Iowa after Coach Saban announced his retirement. Been at Iowa before he even played a snap. Um, before he even practiced in the Iowa jersey. He was paid in a, he was paid from an Iowa's collective, did a dealership endorsement without even practicing. Went, but as of recently, he went on <laughs> spring break with former Alabama teammates. And now he's a legend. You know, these are reports. I'm not a I'm not a um I'm not Adam Schefter. But it's reported that he's transferring transferring from he plans to transfer from Iowa. Back to Alabama. Now, I'm not a genius, but that's not like tampering. Because how y'all know he's going to Alabama already? How you know that he's going to transfer back to Alabama already? How do you know that Coach Kalen um, at Alabama was at Washington? They're going to take him, the young man, back. That's not like tampering. I don't know. I'm not, once again, that's not my field of play. But that's crazy. So you transfer from Bama to Iowa. You want to go home, be around people. Then you go from Iowa and allegedly, Allegedly, ain't no legend. He already confirmed on his IG with the MJ. I'm back. Are you shit? No way. You no. <laughs> Let me look this up. What's his Instagram? No, okay. Caden Proctor. Oh, Caden Proctor. He most definitely did post MJ, I'm back. <laughs> he posted I'm back on, on Instagram. That is crazy. How are you back and you already the transfer portal window hasn't even opened yet for you for football athletes. So how are you already back in Alabama? I don't know. I'm not a news reporter. I don't break news. It's not my field of play. But I don't know. You know, if it walk like a duck, talk like a duck, it's not a mongoose. It's a duck. <laughs> it's not a dog. It's a duck. NCAA free agency. That's exactly what it sounds like. Look at Siri. I'm not talking to you, Siri. I didn't, I didn't even say nothing about you, Siri. That's crazy. Yeah, that's something we've been talking about. Uncle that's yeah, Uncle Roger. I'm gonna have to. It's coming. January, February, March, probably May. January, February, March, April, May. So probably May, sometime around May. Uh, hopefully. Well, I know I'm at a camera by then, but the camera is coming. So that'll be something that I could, you know, show everybody. Show everybody the great town of Greensburg, Louisiana, where everybody know everybody and everybody has fun. You know? So, yeah. But that's what time is it. But that'll do it for tonight. I know it was short. It wasn't as long as usual. But I have a Zoom call. That's why I've been a little distracted, y'all. I'm sorry. But I had to go live. You know, had to keep faith. Can't, I can't, I cannot keep not going live. You know? Even if I can't do the whole, you know, I normally do like two hours, two and a half. Got to show face so you all can continue to support. So I appreciate it. Love each and every one of y'all. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell your mama to subscribe. Tell your daddy, your grandfather, your grandmother, your uncle, your sister, your cousin, whoever you may know. 
you know, let's all subscribe, let's all like, let's all comment, let's all support. Because in the day, as much as you all show me you like me doing it, the more I keep doing it. And when we get this camera, look at me. When we get this camera, y'all. Oh man. We only popping. We only popping. 820 subs. Whew. We were just at like 815. 820. 820 subs. I think. When I started going live, I was at like 500. 530. Now we at 820. So that's, thank you. Can't wait till we hit 1,000. You know, 1,000 people in one room is crazy. Then the next goal will be 10,000. Then you got 10,000 women. Then after 10,000, you got 20. After 20, you got 30. 30, you got 40, 40, 50, 50, 60, 70, 80. And then before you know it, we'll be cooking with grease. 14K channel views. Now see, that's crazy. So I got 14K channel views, 15K basically. Come on now. See, I wish, I wish you could lock the YouTube like you do Instagram. So the only way they can see what's going on in the club inside of, you know, Life of Rally is by subscribing. But we know how people do. You know, they like to come and watch and just peek. So we're going to let them have that. But like I said, I appreciate y'all. I probably won't go live Saturday. But hopefully this camp. Let me show y'all. Hold up. Before I get off. So y'all don't think. Um, So y'all think I'm fibbing about my camera. Let me show y'all. Because y'all, when I tell y'all, I've been, me and Best have been on the phone, I've been going together, y'all. I Best by, Best by probably know my number by heart. Let's see. Okay. So, boom, boom. Cover this out. I don't want the. I'm trying to show the price of the camera. You know this. Can you all see this? Is it? Oh, hold up. It ain't doing it right. Can you all see that now? It's the camera. And it, right here it says delayed. So I bought the camera. March 13th was the estimated arrival date. It didn't make it. So I let y'all know I got it. But love y'all. Be safe. What kind of camera is that? It is the um it is the um Osmo Pocket 3. Austin um Austin actually suggested the camera. It's a little pocket camera. It's actually similar to the camera that he that you've seen on Rob when you seen the little scuffle between them. So it's not the exact camera, but it's the same kind of camera. So yeah. I'm thinking about getting one for my channel. You should. And you should order it off of Best Buy, you know. I, I think it's delayed, not because of Best Buy, because of UPS, but you should order it off of Best Buy. You could actually DM me, Jay. DM me after this. I did you ordered off of Best Buy. It was way cheaper than what it would have been if I would have bought it from the website. Saved me like seventy dollars. I don't know about you, but I'm a little frugal, you know. But I ordered the camera. It's on the way. Whenever it gets here, it's not here yet. So, like I said once again, I appreciate it. Love y'all. Good night. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all socials: TikTok, Instagram. Twitter, Gene Shirada Jr. at Life Riley on Twitter. I mean, on Instagram as well. Thank you all. See ya.